Hey there everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Scare Canarium. Now, I have zero clue what I could, uh, uh, what else I could be doing in here. But I'm gonna try and find out. Glossopateris. And spinning. It's your boy, the Afro Lad, back, like I said, with another episode of Let's Scare Canarium. I really do have zero clue what I could be doing here, as it seems to me... Okay, maybe there is another way. Rock hazards. Boxes. Oh, there's a note. Link elevator has been set up. It can now reach both the tower and the bottom levels of the base. Camp equipment and parts for portable submarines. Tower, base, cavern entrance. That's strange. I need to go up or down in this elevator. This is the elevator room that I saw before. didn't have that information before. That's locked. Biolab seems to be the only door I can go in. It's stuck. It's stuck. Yeah, it's all stuck. So, if that's the case... It won't open. Well, to the bio lab again I go, I guess. If we can find something in there that's gonna be of use. Doesn't appear to be anything there, views. Uh, I don't know what this is. A bullet? Casing? Phonograph cylinder. Wait, I remember something about a phonograph somewhere. Unfortunately, one of our researchers, C. Lenning, was found dead in the biolab last Tuesday. Cause of death is currently uncertain, but judging by the accumulation of a mass of green substance found in his mouth and throat area. Dr. Barlow, our botany expert, thinks that Lenning was smothered by small, sticky, greenish clumps that look like pollen. Belonging to the living samples of the plant Zahiti, which is thought to have become extinct during the Paleozoic era. Oh. Dr. DeWitt will perform a post mortem examination on his body soon. So I shouldn't be in here. I will literally die. That's locked. So locked. Oh, I did not realize I could do that. Oh, hi, psychic cat. Are you really here? Can I look at the plant? Yeah, that was a bad idea. Very bad idea. <coughs> I can't breathe. <coughs> OK, 
Okay, maybe I can't go that way now. Um... I am apparently tripping balls. Close this. Uh, be something I could do. This is Frank Gilman from Upperwatt Antarctic Expedition. Over. Can anyone please answer me, for God's sake? Not okay. Just close that up. Stay in there. Oh, what? What just happened? Who is this? It's impossible to determine with so much decomposition. There, they had a key. And a note, apparently. We have finally, ex finally finished excavating the monolith that was silently waiting for a soul to see it again. Situated within the circular building, we reached with the link elevator. That magnificent, pe magnificent piece of carving was buried halfway down under a mound of debris and most probably could have been written in the earliest pages of history. I cannot describe exactly my feelings for the first time when I stood aghast, contemplating the gigantic stonework inside of those time-worn halls of silence. Only God knows how many ages have passed since its initial carving. Just thinking about it, its age sends shivers down my spine. Which civilization could have first constructed such grandeur, now waving a forlorn goodbye without giving away the secret of its masters? Furthermore, even though some of the symbols are damaged, or some of it is damaged from prepared, we spotted some of the symbols are resembling the rock art of the Sahara Desert in Southeast Algeria. We don't have any strong evidence suggesting anything, but Cornell Blake clings mostly to the continental drift theory. In any case, we don't have enough data on its age, but there's evidence that history needs to be rewritten yet again. It's true, but, uh... Oh, yes. These are the pre-human species we found frozen in a cave far south of the base. Pre-human species? Of a fish? Or of a person? Oh, yes. These are the pre-human species we found frozen in a cave far south of the base. Plant still doing creepy plant things. Cat's gone. I'm not high off of plant juices. Baby plant juices. I'm just gonna, gonna close that up and never talk about that again. Now what key does that go to? There were several things that are locked. Hmm. That one, it's that's stopped. not it. Right. I 
don't know if you can hear me, but I am trying to search it. This is the only way. Oh, thank you? Hey! Hey, can you hear me? Morse code it, my guy. Damn it! Who was he? Good question. What was the need for such security measures? What was the need for such security measures? Alright, so obviously I don't have the thing that goes for the elevator. Nope. Uh, it's stuck. This one goes back up there. Maybe there's something up top that I need the sonograph for. Lockeded. Alright. You know what? I'm gonna go explore some of the rooms that we left earlier. Upsy daisy. Let's see what we got up here. That's still locked. Won't open. That's the infirmary. Where are the bedrooms? Living quarters. Here we go. Might be somebody's key. I already did that room. I don't like it. Dr. Faust? Me? Did I lock my door? I don't remember where my keys are. James Barlow, maybe? Huh. These rooms are already all scoped out. Nope. I swear, if they just have half of these rooms locked, just for the sake of having them locked and then not actually have anything to do with it, I'll be very irritated. Hmm. Maybe this has something to do with the sonogram. Or sonogram. Phonogram. Was it the phonogram? This device. Yep, noise is resonating in my mind. Resonating in my mind. <laughs> All right, that radio is kind of useless right now. Camera, Morse code table, this stuff. There's got to be more stuff to do up here that I'm just not realizing. Oh, wait, 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 what's that? What's this thing? Hey, if you won't let me play it, fine. I found a note. For a while, my nights have been plagued by bizarre nightmares where I'm talking to a substantial figure. I wake up every morning, I fail to remember either his visage or the content of the dialogue, only a silhouette taking in a somber tone. These nightmares keep me from sleeping comfortably, the kind of sleep I'm longing for. I've not mentioned this to anybody, I feel any confident to do so. Most logical thing to talk to Dr. White. Okay. Dr. Wit. I found a secret. I guess. Hmm. Okay, I think I will have to leave this episode off here, guys. I know it was rather short, but honestly, I'm not sure where to go from here. So I'm going to have to look stuff up, and as much as I hate doing that, because I hate bumping in... I like bumping into stuff randomly. I don't know where to go with some of these items. I just genuinely don't. I feel like I'm missing a lot of story from just the first floor. So I'll go, and I'll do some research. I'll keep some notes, and then I'll go into that. Other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time on Let's Scare Canarium. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. 
Hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed and join the Curly Crew, and I will catch you all here next time. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day.